Sorry. Jack, how tough was that one for you guys? Man, it's tough because it was that home in front of you know our fans. You know, really showed out and showed support. And you know, uh, you know, first half didn't really go our way, but that kind of come back in the second half and be so close is, you know, it's hard. I mean, some of those games, it's as tough as George is one of our rivals. You know, and there's really just not much to say besides the fact that you know it's, just, it's a sickening feeling for all of us because you know, look, we had opportunities to make plays and win the game, and at the end, you know, unfortunately, we, you know, things just didn't go our way. What do you think um, two minute offense in the fourth quarter sort of made a difference for you guys? What, what was uh, working so well for you? You know, I think we just found our groove. I mean, in the first half, we were close a lot of times and just, you know, we couldn't finish and you know, we moved the ball, but then, you know, ultimately, you know, a, you know, a player or two knocked us out of field goal range or, you know, uh, kind of killed our momentum. I think, you know, just a good combination. You know, Bo was making some plays with his feet and, you know, he had some great throws, you know, Seth and um, Flash. So, you know, he kind of just. You know, everyone kind of grooving on that second half and kind of getting our feet. You know, it's tough when you come off a bye like that. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, you know, you know, played in a week. So, I mean, I just think we kind of got our groove down a little bit more and, you know, just kind of started to click a little bit. Kind of wish you went to the two minute a little bit earlier. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to say because, um, you know, I mean, obviously, Coach Mahan is a great play caller and he, you know, we all trust them, so it's you know there are reasons we didn't. You know it's, uh, it's hard because if you're not getting first downs, you ultimately can't get into that off in that type of offense. And you know we got stuck with a lot of you know third and you know five and six plus, which you know puts you in a hard position. But um, you know look, I mean we just got to improve for next week. Do you guys feel like you at the on the offensive line we're starting to wear them down there in that fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean up front, I can honestly say I think we played really well. Now I mean obviously we'll go in and watch film tomorrow, but I mean from that perspective, I think we gave both time. You know the running backs, you know that's one of the best rush defenses in the country, if not the best, like second to ours, obviously. But you know they hadn't allowed a rushing touchdown in nine games, and the fact that you know in the second half, especially we started to kind of run the ball on them and wear them down a little bit. I mean. Credit to them, they play a lot of guys. I mean, they they play eight, nine, ten guys in the D line, so you know they're always fresh. But you know, ultimately, you know, coach had a great game plan. We just you know warmed down a little bit, and it showed in the second half. We kind of started to get some drives together and start making some plays. Do you think you guys are at your best offensively? As weird as it sounds, because this has always been a run team, but when you're doing the quick throws and everything like you guys have been doing the two minute offense. I mean, it helps because, um, yeah, like you said, uh, co you know, Coach Malzahn loves you know the pace and the hurry up offense. So if you get those quick completions, you can get into that offense and kind of start getting your groove. And you know, the thing is too, that tires the defense down. You know, they don't have time to make their calls. They don't necessarily have time to substitute their, you know, for packages. So when we get going, I mean, I I, I would say you know when we're probably at our best, we're playing fast and efficient. And you know, if we're keeping their guys on the field so they're tired. You know, we're in good shape. So I think we can deal with those like long drives of hurry up offense and you know just. You know, like I said in the first half, we ultimately it was on us for not getting in those positions. It wasn't play calling, which just you know we didn't make enough plays to get into those pace situations. You know, Bo. I mean, throughout high school, that's what he played in. It's just quick passes, mm -hmm. two minute offense, and that's when he's been at his best. I mean, do you, do you think you feel like that was the case again tonight for him? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. Kind of when you're blocking it, you know, it's, yeah. I don't really get to see. I'm mean, tomorrow, obviously, going to watch and see kind of the reads and whatnot, but. Um, yeah, you know, look, Bo's a great player and he's a freshman. It's hard, you know, how many, there's not many other freshman quarterback out there who can go play like that in that atmosphere. And, you know, especially in the second half, he really turned it on and started making plays both with his feet and his legs. Um, I think that offense does, you know, benefit. But like you said, he played in offense or in high school. And, you know, when you give him the chance to run, you know, a quick pass and kind of just get us in those situations where it's, you know, se like second and manageable. You know, and you're not stuck behind the chains at third and 10, third and 11 plus. Jack, how deflating is it to make a run like that?